What up YouTube? Today's video, I want to talk about why do people stay in abusive relationships? Now, this video was requested by one of my subscribers, so you know I had to take care of that. And before I start this video, I must say, I know a lot of people are saying, what happened, man? You used to upload like five videos a day. Well, I started this new job and I'm tired as shit. So, you know, uh, whenever I upload, that's just when I upload, you know what I'm saying? But today, I'm going to give y'all hella, hella videos, okay? But anyway, um, the thing about this, right, this topic is, uh, you know, why do people stay in abusive relationships? Now, I couldn't come up with anything, you know, I couldn't come up with a scenario or a solution physically of why a person would want to stay in an abusive relationship. So I had to uh, meditate on this information and, you know, you know, get some spiritual insight on this topic. Now, on a spiritual level, speaking on this, why do people stay in abusive relationships? The thing that I came up with spiritually is people stay in abusive relationships because they love the fact that somebody is pretty much giving them masculine energy, right? You know what I'm saying? Whether that is, uh, as you know, in today's society, in today's society, domestic violence, we really hear about, you know, a lot of men beating on their women, but a lot of people don't really know that it's a lot of women that beat on their men too. Real talk. You see what I'm saying? But all this type of stuff goes back to their childhood. That's what people don't understand. All this stuff is psychological. It's all in their mental, right? See, when people, so let's use uh, men beating on women. When a man beats on a woman, and the woman stays in that relationship, she stays in that relationship because she never had that masculine energy, that dominant force to control her. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna say, why would a woman want to stay in an abusive relationship just to feel masculine energy when she could just get another man? That's true, but like I said, it's psychological. It's pretty much like a disease. See, people don't know that a lot of people stay in abusive relationships because the pain relieves stress. You see what I'm saying? Just like the video I made, the last video I made. Some people don't want to be, I mean, some people don't want to be fixed because being broken gets them more attention. You know, people get beat on and stuff like that. And once they friends and stuff start finding out, they give them little pity parties and things of that nature. So they start getting shit for free and things of that nature. You know, just get little passes. Huh? You can have that. You can have this. You've been through so much. You know what I'm saying? Getting sympathy. Now, I know a lot of people still don't say that don't make sense. Why would you want to stay in an abusive relationship? It all stems back to, because you know, a lot of people don't have their fathers in their life. You see what I'm saying? Real talk. And I grew up without my father in my life. You know what I'm saying? At one point in time, you know what I'm saying? For a number amount of years. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people never seen their father day in their life. Their father has never been in their life. And you know, a lot of women too. And you know, they, 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 they seek out that type of uh, masculine energy, not the fact that they want somebody to beat on them, but they seek out that energy. Because when people, when a man beats on a woman or when a woman beats on a man, they only doing it because something happened to them psychologically in their childhood where their parents beat on them. So they want to take that pain out on their uh, they partner. You see what I'm saying? Because a lot of people say when you get in a relationship, you should get in a relationship with somebody that favors your mother or your father. You get what I'm saying? And the people who got beat on, the person that they with, they may not know it, but psychologically, they see their mother or their father in that person. So they just getting the beat in their ass because all the uh, abuse that they went through, they want to bring it on to the next person. And the person that is getting abused, they stay in that relationship because they seek out, especially women, you know what I'm saying? Men too, but I'm going to get to that later. Especially women because they want that dominant force. They want that masculine energy. They want to be controlled. It sounds crazy. But that's how it is. See, a lot of people don't know that pain, it uh, relieves stress. A lot of people don't know that. See, that's why a lot of emo people, goths, they cut their wrists and shit like that. And a lot of people say, why do they do that? They do that because pain relieves stress. When they cut themselves, they feel a, a relief. They feel that pain release. You see what I'm saying? It's like that cut. When they cut themselves, it's like that pain has opened up and that pain can just leave. You see what I'm saying? I see some people are addicted to pain. That's why people stay in these relationships. They're addicted to so much pain and they feel so much pain in their life. They don't know nothing else but pain. So why would they want to get in a relationship with somebody that treats them good? I made a video about this. The woman will treat the good guy bad. 
You know what I'm saying? I ain't even going to speak on that. But the woman will treat the good guy bad and treat the bad guy good. So if you're a good guy like me and you're trying to actually take a woman out and treat her right and all that, she's going to treat you bogusly. She's going to do you like you ain't shit. She probably going to be fucking other niggas on the side and everything. Zing. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? Just because you're trying to treat her right. But the dude that dog her out, take her money, fuck the bitch, you know what I'm saying? All crazy, then fuck other hoes and excuse the language. I'm just making a point. Do all this type of stuff. They like that type of stuff because... They have been through so much pain, and all they want is somebody to come in their life to cause more pain because that pain relieves stress. If that makes sense, like I said, it's all psychological. Real talk, it's all psychological. And the men who stay in relationships and they getting beat on by their women, see, a lot of people, I took a class like this in high school. It was called cultural something. And uh, they was talking about how women, they was talking about, we was talking about domestic relationships. A lot of people say, a lot of people raise their hand talking about something they heard more about. Uh, men beating on their women but a lot of people don't know it's a lot of women that beat on their men and the reason why they do that is because that woman mother more than likely beat her like that in her childhood or her dad probably beat her like that in her childhood so now when she date a man like I say psychologically she may see her dad in that guy on a subconscious level that's what I meant to say on a subconscious level now she's just getting to beat his ass for no reason now the reason why I know some people gonna say why they don't hit her back why they don't hit her back because one Two wrongs don't make a right. We know that. And two, some guys are not necessarily like all masculine. They could be masculine, but they not too masculine. You know what I'm saying? Because some men are more feminine than women. That don't mean they gay. You know what I'm saying? They just more feminine than women. That's just how it is. You got a masculine side. We have a, a feminine side. But a lot of these men, they stay in these relationships, like I said, because they probably never had that tough love from their mom or they probably never had their mom in their life so like i say pain and they've been through so much pain pain is all they know so they stay in that abusive relationship with that woman real talk and they think that ain't nobody else gonna love them or they think it's gonna take a long time for them to find another relationship so they just continue to go back to what they know continue to go back to what they know you see what i'm saying so that's why in my opinion spiritually that's why people stay in abusive relationships because they've been used to so much pain that's all they know. So they, you know what I'm saying? They never had their father in their life or they never had their mother in their life. So they yearn for that energy. You know what I'm saying? They yearn for that masculine energy. They they yearn for that feminine energy. You know what I'm saying? That tough force to let you know who the boss is. They love that type of shit. So that's why they stay in abusive relationships. In my opinion, spiritually, wake the damn up that way. <laughs>